Pablo Picasso, Vincent Van Gogh, Michael D'Angelo, what do they all have in common? They're all ended with the sound O. I joke, I joke. They're all world-renowned artists. And how cool would it have been if we were able to chill with them and see them in action? Today we have the opportunity to see a world-renowned artist at work and get introduced to a whole new world of art. Hasidic Jewish art. His work can be found in homes around the world. And this bagel shop. Whoa, that's big. All right, let's meet the legend himself, Michal Mushnik. Here we are. Hey, it's Mayor Collinson. Okay, I'm coming down. Hey, what's going on? It's starting already. It's, yeah, we're live. We're live. We're live. Oh, okay, I can't handle it. <laughs> wow, so this is it, huh? This is it. Welcome to the Mushroom Art Studio. This place is amazing! Even his bathroom is artistic. Look at this place. Look at the sink. It's a piece, it's a work of art. I love it, I love it. What do you call it? Oh wow, you got a little frame situation going on over here. Customers can kill two birds with one stone. They could be on the toilet and they get shoes out their framing. Genius. What's unique to many of my uh, pictures, paintings, is a, I call it, for all practical purposes, it's really like a cabochon around the, uh, Jewel, polished jewel in a setting. This is the Ruffles tomb. This is uh, um, date palm. You see, this is all onyx stone. I add like my hand painted stones to it. There's an artist at work. I'm painting a, a little olive tree, which is one of the fruits of Israel. It speaks beautifully in many different places like symbolism and what we can learn from the olive. You have to squeeze the olive to get out the oil. So with life's challenges and different things that we go through, sometimes we get squeezed, so to speak. And um, But in the end, it brings out olive oil, which is what you need to make a fire. And so the light, the new light that comes from that squeezing. I think I discovered my artistic abilities mostly when I was a young, very young teenager, 12, 13 years old. Come on, baby, okay. Gimbal, not there! Woo! There will be a Oh man, I got a shin! Shin again! I'm not leaving till I get a gimbal. Gimbal! Uh, boom. It's amazing to see the process that goes into every single masterpiece. Now let's have a look at Michal's finished pieces in his gallery. Hi, Mayor. Hey, how are ya? Watch your step. Hey, welcome to my gallery. I've seen that before. I've seen that around. That's famous. That's around. That's a pretty well known piece. Yeah. Avram's tent. With the blessings of his wife Sarah all over it too. When she lit her shop as candles, miraculously they never went out. So the next, just before Shabbos the next week, she re relit them. And there was a cloud. It was a sign that God's presence was revealed in there. This book was read to me as a child. This, I can't, I can't believe that's you. Whoa! Uh, this is like meeting a childhood, like, like what would you call it? You, you're, he's the guy, he's the guy. You also wrote it? Wow, I want to sign copy. What, okay, you have to buy the set first. Ah, of course, the Jewish way. And who says that artists aren't business people? I had some, proud moments of my art career. They're not if I won an award or this, that, and the other. Some of them sometimes were just how one painting affected one person. Sitting here and having you tell me like how exciting 
you, you were just to know that I was the author of this children's book that you were brought up with and that you loved. That's a tremendous, so, that's a tremendous, I'm very proud of that. Spending a day with Michal allowed me to meet a genuine, passionate person who harnesses creativity and uses it to spread the stories and lessons of the Torah with the medium which he loves. Wow, what a day of art and creativity. I want to thank my friend Michal. Thank you so much for showing me around. Oh, you wiped me out. <laughs> <laughs> Listen guys, check him out. Check out all his art. It's really amazing, really inspirational. A lot of deep messages in them. And follow your own dreams, follow your passions, whatever it may be. Whether it's art, video, singing, dancing, whatever it is, do it. Is that my right? Listen to him. Okay. Guys, keep, keep positive, stay happy. I'm Mayor K. Have a great day.